baseball in 2023. A sticky stuff ejection followed by a pitch timer violation. We pick this one up in the top of the fifth inning. Griff Cannon will finish out his day and be replaced by Ryan Tapera. So Griffin Canning is done, retires 12 of the last 13 Rangers he faces. Now here's Ryan Tapera. Into pitch here, second time in three days for Tapera. It's interesting, it's almost like Tapera's got the pitch calm on his wrist today. He's calling his own pitch. Smacked right up the middle. A two out single on the move is Thompson. Hits well by Simi in the left field, and that one's gonna get way out of here. 3 2. Gets hit by Seeger up the middle. Right up the middle, Urshela is able to step on second base, and that's how the inning comes to a close. Ryan Tapera just ejected from this game a moment ago for what one could presume is a violation of having the sticky stuff in there upon further review. Yes, he kind of went through that process of checking his hands and glove and all that. He wound up going to the belt. And there has been an initiative by MLB just in the last week about a crackdown on that. Well, MLB says they're going to get back to doing that at an even stricter rate as a pitch timer violation is going to end up being a called third strike on Taylor Jones for a strikeout here in the fifth. Phil Nevin not too happy about this. Giving Bill Miller a little bit in his ear. Sure he's in an angry mood right now. A sticky stuff ejection followed by a pitch timer violation. The new brand of baseball that we're going to see here in the 2023 season. So as for the pitch comm system on the glove, rules 307, it's not technically a violation because it's the same color, but even if it was, the umpire removes the glove. You don't throw the pitcher out of the game necessarily on that one alone. No, this was a heightened sticky substance check violation, as it were. This was issued in spring training of this year, and well, we have an ejection as a result of it because spin rates got too high, apparently. That, compounded with the pitch clock violation strikeout, means that the Angels are doing remarkably well in spring 2023. Well, MLB says they're going to get back to doing that at an even stricter rate.